Here we have the new 2021 Honda Accord. And this one comes in the touring trim level in that beautiful platinum white. And the interior consists of the ivory perforated leather interior. And the powertrain consists of a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission, putting out 252 horsepower. And there's your front end there. You have your LED headlamps along with daytime running lights and fog lights. And then here you have your 19 inch aluminum wheels. Very nice. You have passive keyless entry on the front. And there the controls for your power door locks, windows and mirrors, as well as your memory seating there. You can open the trunk up. And there are the features to toggle your safety features, what to turn on and off, which I'll go through that in a minute. You have your parking sensors. And then up here you have your heads up display controls. And there's your power driver's seat with power lumbar support. And here you have three stage heated seat for the outboard passengers. Let's hop in. So I reviewed an Accord hybrid today and just like that, this Accord's rear seat room is incredible. I'm 6'3 and I'm able to sit in the seat in front of me as well as back here. And this is like Mercedes or Maybach legroom right here. It's crazy. And down here you have your rear AC vents, two USB charging ports. And there's a view of the front from back here. And then in the middle seat, you have your cup holders. But let's check out the trunk space next. So of course, really good space for the Accord. Fit all your groceries or whatever you need to back here. And then if you wanna pull the seats down for even more space, you just pull here and they'll fold flat. And there's a view of that beautiful rear end there. You also have a dual exhaust. And there's your power passenger seat there. Let's take a look at that two liter. And there it is, a two liter turbocharged four cylinder VTEC. All right, so here we have a really nice leather wrapped steering wheel. And over to the radio, we have navigation. You have your AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. And you also get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is just awesome. So you can use that if you want to as well. There's that navigation again. And there's your backup camera. And down here you have your controls for your automatic dual zone climate. You also have three stage heated and cooled seats. 
and down here you have a USB port as well as a USB charging port a 12 volt and then you have a wireless charging pad as well which I've said in my other review I really like how they put that there and it's out of the way and you can just slide your phone in there because that's where you normally put it anyway so it's good to have that there and it's a nice size and you can just tuck that away if you want to and as for your shifter press the button for park push here reverse push here for neutral push here for drive and then you have your economy and your sport modes here your electronic parking brake your brake hold and then really nice center console space here then you have this tray you can move forward and back a little bit if you want to and then up here a nice tilt and sliding power sunroof one touch and there's a view of the rear seat from up here nice size glove compartment and then like I said you can hit this down here and that'll pull up all of your safety features so your road mitigation blind spot low speed brake collision and all that there and then that's kind of what you use to go through the gauge cluster when you pull that up And I like how they did that, I really do. So it's not always there if you don't want it there. But then you have your volume controls, your track list, radio station controls, Bluetooth. And then over here on the right side, you have your heads up display. You can hit that. And I really like that. Several different views and just really nice, a really nice picture. And then of course your adaptive cruise controls. Then you can turn on the lane mitigation and then your gap adjust here. And then you have push button start. And finally there's your key fob with remote start. So next is time to take this new 21 Accord out on the road for a test drive. So, so far this rides very smoothly, of course, and just the overall drivability of it is really good. Really good brakes. And there's something about the Honda headlights. I just love the LEDs on here. They're just so bright and they look so, so great. And that two liter turbo grunt is awesome. Really nice. And this 10 speed so far is really pretty tame. And I like that they paired this with the two liter instead of just going with the CVT, which is awesome. Honda's done a really good job with that, but this is just really sporty. As you can see, you can use these paddle shifters, which make it even more fun. And the paddle shifters are very responsive too. But you don't get that all the time when people give you paddle shifters.
And when you're not getting up in the RPMs, it's a pretty quiet powertrain for the most part. And I have the car set in the sport mode now. We're about to get on the interstate and open her up. And already I can sense the pet compared to the normal mode. Yeah, that is fantastic. Wow. Oh, and that sound, that sound is great. That is so, so great and so surprising from a Honda Accord. I mean, in sport mode, this thing is just, gosh, that was awesome. I'm gonna put it back into economy now and we got the adaptive cruise on now. And a really nice ride coming down the interstate. That's the adaptive cruise braking, and it just brought the car to a complete stop. And in economy, it really, 95% of the time you're gonna be fine with this mode because you still have that turbo boost and it's still relatively quick. It's just not that sport mode. And that sport mode just, I'm still in awe by it. That was so, so great and so surprising. But this is gonna bring me to an end of my review of the new 2021 Honda Accord Touring.